So today, I was going to talk to you about the phrase, the world is your oyster. Have you heard of that phrase? Do you know how the story originates? I think the story ori originates with Shakespeare. He wrote a play. I forgot the name of the play or his stuff. And he says something to, um, I think they were having an argument or something, and the, girl, the guy was like, well, the world is my oyster, and I'm going to use a sword to cut open the oyster and take what's mine like to make to manifest into existence whatever thing he was trying to materialize and today i was watching a video on writing <laughs> writing books i'm quitting my job at the end of this month and i'll be focusing a lot of my time on writing a book and also also creating content more courses of course and then doing my usual life coaching business with clients and sessions and so on and so forth and um and one of the things that i heard today was when you write when you sit down and you write a book like you sit down and fully write it out just beginning to end no editing and stuff it's like a slimy oyster <laughs> and then you you rewrite it you edit it and once you've really honed it down and recrafted it, then the pearl emerges. That's the pearl that you extracted out of the slimy oyster that you originally created. That was 90% of the work. And then the rest of the work was the rewriting, the editing. And that's how you extract the pearl. You polish it off and then you put it on display. And that is the book. That is your final product. That is when you're like, oh, I have this thing. It's amazing. Hey, Patricia. And this is the pearl that I've extracted from sitting down to write the book from beginning to finish and then going back to edit and rewrite it. <coughs> and so I thought, wow, like the world is your oyster. That phrase is so much better now because you really get to extract whatever meaning you desire to extract out of your interactions with the world in your life, like your daily interactions, everything that happens in your life is divine, is perfect, is on purpose. And you get to extract the pearl from your life experience. You get to choose what meaning you assign. You get to choose the conversations you get to have around it, about it. And that is the pearl that you extract from the world of your oyster. The world is your oyster or is it not your oyster? Or is the world your oyster to extract the pearl from? I don't know. <laughs> but I thought of that. And I thought it was so amazing. So today I was teaching a relationships course and I kept it kind of more open and loosely based and I wanted to give the clients a chance to just talk about whatever aspect of their life they'd like to transform. Hey James. And one of the things we talked about transforming was clutter. Clutter. And I was thinking about when we when we sold our house like the stagers when they came they took everything out of the space they put it all in one pile and then they picked from the pile the pieces they wanted to put back into the space and so it's coming it's creating from a space of nothing and I thought that was so perfect you know like if you're you have a house and it's just full of crap full of stuff and you don't know like what to keep what to give away what to anything what if you pretend like the house was empty and if you're to pick the pieces to put back in, you're creating from a space of nothing, all of a sudden you can now create an inviting space, a welcoming space that will give you the perfect space to create and thrive and flourish. You're creating from a space of nothing. Because we think, if I already have this stuff here, like I have a table and it's full of stuff on it, then I should be good, right? This table is fully equipped with the stuff that I might need to create something but at the same time it's a lot of crap all over there's books there's papers there's a paper clip there's a safety pin like it's a lot of junk and if anything it's distracting so what if you cleared the table you're like okay if i were to create from a space of nothing what would i have on the space i would have my laptop i would have a pen maybe a piece of paper that's it i don't need all these books i don't need this paper clip i don't need my headphones none of this stuff you know, and that's creating from a space of nothing. And it runs so much deeper than just a space on your table, the space in your house. It's your relationships. It's your life. If you were to create your 
life from a space of nothing. You're create your life, meaning you're creating from a purpose. You're creating about your relation with your your significant other. You're like, what would it look like if you were to create from a space of nothing? How would you say it would go? Maddie's telling me it's time for me to take her out. So that's my challenge to you. The world is or is not your oyster. It has a pearl for you to extract. And two, if you were to create a space of from a space of nothing. What would it really, really look like? Tell me. Uh, I send you love, light, profound clarity, infinite possibility to create the life you desire to live. One that's aligned with your soul's expansion and growth always. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.